If you want to know how you can make team only clothes in Roblox Studio, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make team-only clothes. What I mean with that, for example, if you are a prisoner, you're going to get, like, inmate um, clothing, for example. And if you're a cop or a police officer, you're going to get police clothing. I'm going to be using Jailbreak's clothing, like a little bit of a rip-off, but, you know, you get the point. I just took them, uh, took them off the catalog. Um, basically that... But basically, uh, I will also include a team changer in this tutorial, so you can like switch teams with it. So it's going to be a really epic tutorial. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for almost 10,000 subscribers. I am really glad I came so far with the amazing community I have right now. So thank you a lot for that. And uh, if you do like this video, give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, and become a member by pressing the blue join button down below. And all I can say is that without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So first of all, you want to get the model from the link in the description below. In the, in the description, there's going to be a link, and you want to get that model. And in that model, it's going to be everything you need to um, be able to follow this tutorial. So go to the description right now, get that model, and let's head back. So when you're in your game, you know, hey, little game, ha ha ha, nice. You want to go to view, and you want to go to toolbox, and then you'll see this amazing thingy, and you'll see SpongeBob. We're not going to use, we're, no, no, we're not going to use SpongeBob in this tutorial. You want to go to these four blocks over here. It's called inventory, and let's click on it. Let's get our model, team close newbie, and then you'll see two scripts. Just click OK, and let's continue. So, what you want to do, you want to uh, put the items in their uh, directory. For, uh, for example, we got, if we open replicated storage, you will see please prisoner handler. So, get those three things and put them in replicated storage. And delete the folder. Service script service, same story. Just put it in service script service. Bye. Start your GUI. Let's put it in start your GUI. And let's delete the folder. And lastly, teams. And let's put them in teams. If you don't have teams yet, you can do that. You can go to view, uh, or you can go to model, and you can go to surface, and then add teams over here. So just a little thing. If you don't have teams on your game, uh, that's going to be okay. You can just easily do that. So this script is not really that big. It's, it's pretty simple. So we should immediately get to coding. Uh, there are two small scripts, and then we're done. So local replicated storage is against the game. Call on get service replicated storage. We also need players, so local players is equals to game. Call on get service players. Local handler is equals to replicated storage dot handler. And lastly, local teams is equals to game. Call on get service teams because we're gonna use um, some cool things. Now we need uh, something cool. We need uh, a local function. So local function function equip clothes equip clothes. Okay, and we're going to use the character and we are going to use the team that you're on to determine what kind of clothing you need. So if team is equals equals to prisoner. So if you're going to be a prisoner, you're going to get prisoner clothing. So a uh, character that shirt colon destroy character.pants colon destroy and now since your original clothing are gone we are going to immediately equip you with new clothing so local shirt is equals to replicated storage dot prisoner dot shirt colon clone and we're going to do prisoner because this is the prisoner perimeter shirt dot parent is equals to character i'm going to put it in the character and then uh, local pants is it because the same story? Uh, replicated storage dot uh, prisoner dot pants, not parent pants. Colon clone pants dot parent is equals to. Uh, we're gonna put this in the character. You want to copy uh, all of this, so just uh, this all of it. Else, if team is equals equals to police, then so if you're gonna be on the police team, then we're gonna change prisoner to police, prisoner to police. And we're done with the function. It is very simple. Now, players. The player added. Call on connect. Function of a player. Oh, player. Let's go. 
after that, uh, we need to get the character. So player, the character added, colon connect, function of a character. And then when when you join the game, we're gonna immediately check your team to uh, yeah, we're gonna check your team to see if uh, we need to do something. So if we need to put your clothes, we can do that by doing that. Pretty simple. So when you join the game, we're immediately gonna give you the clothing. Uh, that you're going to be on so and if you reset by the way uh we will also do the function so if player the team that name is equals equals the prisoner so if you're on the prisoner team then we're going to wait until you have shirt and pants just in case you join a little bit late or you have lag repeat task dot wait until character dot shirt and character dot pants so we're gonna uh we're gonna wait for the game to load in the shirt and the pants if you have shorter pins, because this will only run uh, after, uh, then we're going to use the character. As you can see, we have to do use the character. So we're going to fire the character uh, with equip clothes. And the team that you're on, your team is prisoner. Just like that. So just set it to prisoner and you're good. Now, same story. Else if player, that team, that name is equals equals to police. So if you're on the police team, we're going to do the exact same. And we're going to set this to police because now you're going to be on the police team. Now, lastly, handler that on server event, comma connect function of a player and a team. What we're going to do, uh, there's a UI over here. So uh, like a, a, uh, yeah, a police and prisoner button. So if you click police, we're going to send, uh, we're going to send a remote event. We're going to reload your character so that this will get fired. And before that, we're going to give you some clothing. It's very simple. So player.team, so if you're going to switch teams, we're going to set your team. So player.team is equals to teams, and then in uh, square brackets, team, like this. Let me just zoom in like that. So teams, and then square brackets, team, because this is a, like, this is a prisoner or police statement. So if it would be prisoner, you can do this, and then you're going to be on the prisoner team. But we don't know if you're going to choose police or prisoner, so that's why we use it globally. Then equip clothes. And then player.character. And we're going to give the clothing depending on your team. This is going to be your team. And we're going to fire that over here. Because over here we're requiring a team. You get the point? Nice. So. What we can do now. Is we uh, need to uh, reload the player's character. So player. Colon load character. And basically this. We just need to load the player's character again. Now, now you're done with the script and you can exit this script. Now let's go to the client script. It's a very simple, small script. Uh, we just need to have it. Local replicated storage is it the game. Come on, get surface replicated storage. What this does, if replicated storage uh, isn't there when you join the game, the game is going to create one, blah, blah, blah. I talk too much. <laughs> Local handler is it the replicated storage dot handler. When you're doing the game, you, you can decide a team, so script.parent.frame.visible is equal to true. Uh, but you cannot switch teams yet. So what we what I mean with that, for example, if you join the game, you can select a team, but you cannot click the UI away. Because this button over here, button, is going to open or close, uh, depending on what you choose. And if it's going to be, if it's, if it's not there, you have to choose the team first. Script.parent.frame.prisoner.mouseButton1click connect function of an empty parameter so when you choose prisoner we're gonna fire the server saying that you want to be a prisoner then when you choose one of the uh, things one of the uh, buttons then we're gonna immediately put that UI away because you do not you cannot choose again you know you have to like wait until your character has respawned and then you can click again okay but since you chose um, a, a team you can also change your team so if you join the game, you can choose a team, and then uh, if you're going to think like, hey, hmm, maybe I don't want to do that, maybe I just want to be a cop instead, you can do that, because you already chose a team at the start. Now, same story, just copy this, paste it, change this to police, change this to police. Very cool. Now, the last three lines, script.parent.button.mouseButton, one click, colon connect, function of empty things. And then to make sure you can open and close the frame, all we have to do is script.parent.frame.visible. Oh, not uh, yeah, script.parent.frame.visible. 
is equal to the opposite, so not script dot parent dot frame dot visible. And then what this does, if it's open, it's gonna close, and if it's closed, it's gonna open. Pretty simple. So now that we've done this, we're gonna actually test this out in a real game. So let's hop into the game right now. So now we're loading in the game, so let's wait for a little bit, because my internet isn't that fast. So let's wait for a little bit. Come on, roll long, so we can load in. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we joined the game, we're on the prisoner team, and we can either choose to be a police officer or a prisoner. And, yeah, I want to be, um, hmm, I want to be a police officer, so police. As you can see, the button appears, so we can change team. As you can see, we're getting changed on the police team, and we have police clothing on right now. Really, really cool. So, maybe I want to be a prisoner, yeah. So, prisoner team, okay, and we get respawned as prisoner clothing. So this is how you make a team-only clothes in Roblox with a team ch uh, team change uh, GOI or whatever you want to call it. If you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. And um, become a member if you want by clicking the blue jump button down below. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.